Hi, Julian David here with Liquid Sonics. Welcome to this overview video of M7 Link, a controller plugin that provides MIDI DAW integration for Bricasti's M7 hardware reverb processor. With M7 Link, now you can take complete control of your existing M7 and tightly integrate the world's best hardware reverb into today's complex studio workflows via the industry standard MIDI protocol. The control plugin gives you full program recall, parameter control, dynamic automation, and comprehensive M7 system management for all major DAWs. M7 Link is capable of remote controlling multiple instances of M7 hardware units and even offers some additional features exclusive to the plugin, such as parameter lock and tempo sync. Simply connect the MIDI input and output of your Bricasti M7 to a set of dedicated MIDI ports with a compatible MIDI device and then control the reverb as though it was a plugin. Let's have a closer look. The plugin GUI is split into the following areas preset management and system settings, fundamental controls, control groups for space, shape, delay, and system, bass and treble decay rate, roll off filtering, and a visual representation of the decay rate and filtering. Let's look at the presets first. Once you have connected your M7 to a compatible MIDI device, select the correct MIDI port in the plugin system settings. Then click on the preset name to choose a preset from the list, or use the left and right chevrons to move between presets. The drop down menu also gives you options to save and recall user registers. An AB preset register feature is provided for quickly auditioning and comparing presets. Please refer to the user guide for more in depth information regarding the system setup and importing M7 user registers. In addition, click the question mark icon at the top right of the plugin to enable interactive tooltip assistance. The fundamental reverb parameters of reverb time, pre delay, and low frequency reverb level are always visible in the plugin. The tabs to the right give you access to four control groups with additional parameters mirroring those on the hardware. Simply click the tab to select the control groups. The graph in the bottom section of the plugin corresponds with the controls for bass and treble decay rate and roll off filtering on the right. Depending on which section you select by clicking on the header or editing a control, you get a visual representation of the decay rate or roll off EQ. In addition to providing an elegant way to control your M7 hardware, the plugin offers a few exclusive enhancements, some of which might be familiar to you from other Liquid Sonics plugins. Instead of choosing the pre delay and reverb delay time parameters in milliseconds as per the hardware, the plugin can sync to the DAW's tempo by selecting the Tempo Sync button. Parameters can be locked from the main interface so that complete program changes do not affect select parameters. For instance, if you found a decay time and pre delay that suits the track well, but you want to experiment with other reverb programs without resetting these parameters every time, simply lock them in place and browse through the programs. Parameter locks can be enabled and disabled by clicking the padlock icon under any dial. Alternatively, right-click any dial to bring up the lock menu, including a clear all locks option. Finally, it is possible to modify the presentation of the M7 parameter showing the early reflections to reverberation mix value. By default, the M7 uses two values separated by chevrons. These correspond to levels in decibels, so you can optionally switch to an alternative presentation in decibels in M7 Link system settings. This terminology will be more familiar to those that have used other Liquid Sonics plugins. Here, you can also access M7 hardware system settings and plugin settings such as MIDI ports and interface scaling. Two important notes. Even though the control plugin can be instantiated as an insert effect in your DAW, it does not process any audio. So you need to patch your M7's hardware, digital or analog audio connections just the way you used to. The plugin defaults to digital I.O., but you can set the default audio format to analog I.O. from the menu. Secondly, it's important to note that any edits you make on the hardware from this point on are not sent to the plugin because the M7 does not transmit them via MIDI. So once connected, you should exclusively control the M7 via M7 Link to ensure both remain in sync. With M7 Link, you can now control all reverb parameters of the M7 hardware with DAW automation. This unlocks a whole new universe of creative potential for your M7 hardware. Some DAWs like Pro Tools require enabling automation for parameters, while other DAWs do this automatically. Please refer to your DAW's user guide to find out how to work with dynamic plugin automation. If you have one or multiple M7 hardware processors, M7 Link is the perfect companion to neatly integrate this stunning sounding reverb in a DAW based workflow via MIDI. The plugin enhances your creative process with tools for improved convenience, control, and mixing. Visit liquidsonics.com to learn more and to download a free demo of M7 Link. Thanks for watching and happy mixing.